Welcome back everyone to Learning with Dishi, we're in statics and today we're going to solve problem 8.40, okay? It says, if my angle theta is equal to 30 degrees, determine the minimum coefficient of static friction at A and B so that the equilibrium of the supporting frame is maintained regardless of the mass of the cylinder. Neglect the mass of the rods. Okay, so we have two rods, we got AC rod and we got BC rod, right? And these two rods have a mass attached to it but we don't know how much this is in mass. So in order to solve this problem, what we have to do is that we're going to think a little bit outside the box. And what I mean by that is that usually, at least since we're students, what we first think of is doing a free body diagram right away, which is what I usually like to do. And if we were to do a free body diagram, we will realize that we'll need the mass of, or the weight of this um, cylinder. So since we don't have this mass, we have to come a little bit more creative. And what we're going to say is like, okay, due to symmetry from this A side will be equal to my B side, okay? So we can start working only on one side of my um, problem. Now, we learned multiple methods on statics. So what we're going to do is that we're going to apply the method of sections in this, um, in this problem. And we're going to have a section at here in B, or we can have a section here at A, it doesn't matter, due, since that we have symmetry. So due to that, it will be the same thing. So let's have a free body diagram. That we're going to call it a B, okay? And what we're going to have is that we're going to have our rod B and we cut it in this direction. Since we cut it in that direction, we're going to have a force that we're going to call force CV, since it's the force of the rod, so it's the internal force of the rod, just like when we were doing a uh, method of sections. Now, this rod with respect to the y-axis has an angle theta that they're given to us. So let's write it over here. Theta equals to 30 degrees. What else do I have in this? Uh, this is my point B. So let's call the point B. Okay. Now, the other thing that I have is that I have the normal force going up at this point B. So we're going to call it normal B. Now, what can we tell about this problem? So if this mass is in this direction, and just by like an analogy of what we know on real life, we can see that if we were to push this system like this, my point B will want to move towards my right side. So what does that mean? That we will want a frictional force going to our left side that will counter that movement. We that's the amount of force that we want. Now, how much is this force? Well, this force is a frictional force. And what do we know about frictional force? Well, frictional force are fun. And what I mean by fun as, a fun, as always, is the frictional force at B will be equal to the static friction at B multiplied by the normal B. And this is why we call it fun, because it's like F, U, N. Okay, so it's our fun equation. Now, we know that we want to find this coefficient of a static friction. So we're going to leave it as that multiply by my normal B. And this is our force that's going to the left. So after finishing our free body diagram, what do you guys think we're going to do? Obviously, we're just going to do and apply some summatorial forces. And let's see what we find out. So we have summatory of forces in the x direction. We're going to assume that going to the right is positive. And what do I have? Well, I will have negative my force CV, but we want the x component. And my x component is this guy over here, which is the opposite. And so we're going to use sine of theta in this case. We also have negative mu of b times mb that my force is going to the left. And that's all I have for here. So all this equal to zero. We're going to apply also the summatory 
of forces in the y direction going up is positive what do I have well I have positive NB and then I have positive FCV but the y component which is going to be my cosine of theta and all this should be equal to zero right so what we can do is that we're going to solve for mu sub b in this one and then we're going to solve for mv on this one so let's start by doing that so we're going to take this equation so and we're going to solve for mu sub b is going to be equal to negative fcv multiplied by the sine of theta divided by my normal b okay now we're going to take my summatory of forces in the y direction so this one over here and we're going to uh, solve for mv now mv is equal to negative fcv multiplied by the cosine of theta okay now since we know this all we're going to do is plug this mv into here so we're going to put this here and we'll end up having negative fcv multiplied by the sine of theta all divided by negative fcv multiplied by the cosine of theta okay so we can cancel fcv with fcv negatives with negatives we will end up that mu sub b is only sine of theta divided by cosine of theta do we know theta yes we know theta theta is equal to 30 degrees so we're going to plug this into our calculator so we're going to end up with mu sub b equals to uh, also we can reduce this into basically tangent of theta because it's sine over cosine that's tangent we're going to plug that so tangent of 30 degrees and we end up having equal to let me use this 0 0.577 okay now this doesn't have units therefore we found our answer and our answer is equal to 0 0.577 thank you guys for watching if you guys like the video please push the like button subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one